and welcome to Christmas songs on guitar. Guitar for kids with David Aldridge. See if you can guess which one it is. Be sure to watch the video to the end because I'm going to answer the three most common questions that beginner guitarists ask. So just follow along with me and today I'm going to be using a guitar pick but it's also okay to use your thumb. I am so glad you made it to the end of the video. Okay, let's jump in and answer those three most common questions beginner guitarists ask. And this is gonna help you to progress even further. So here's the first one. When I play guitar, while pressing down on the frets, the sound is always muted and buzzing. Okay, so let's answer question one. There's probably two or three things that you can just correct now that's gonna help you to be less buzzy and not muted in sound, okay? So the first one, and it's really important, is that your thumb is on the back of the neck like this and it's pointing upwards because our thumb helps to apply pressure to the strings. So if your thumb is over like this or down, then that's not great. And that could be one of the reasons that the strings are muting. Okay, so number two is that you're not using the fingertip to push down. So it could be that you're using the fleshy part of the finger instead of the bony part of the finger here. So as we push the string down, we want to use the fingertip. When our fingers are arched as well, they're a lot stronger than when they're flat. I use this kind of analogy with my students that um, Romans used to build arch bridges because the, the strength, there's more strength in an arch bridge than a flat bridge. So if our fingers are curled in, they're a lot stronger. So playing on the fingertips. If this video is helping you right now, consider subscribing to the channel. You are helping to support future videos just like this one. Okay, so the third reason while you might be sounding a little bit buzzy is that you're not quite tucked up to the metal strip which we call the fret. So if we're at the side of the fret, um, we get more, um, it's, well, for one, it's easier to push down 
and we get less buzzing here than we do over here. Have a listen. So can you see as I'm mute to the end of the fret, I'm just buzzy, I don't even get a note and it's muted. So with those three things, they'll cure um, the muting and buzzing sound. Another thing that I see students were that sometimes go wrong as well, is that when they, say if they're playing a note, because it hurts the finger at first, that they just let go of the pressure. So you've got to maintain pushing, pinning the string to the fretboard as you play. Now with that information, go and practice some notes and I promise it will cure the buzzing and the muting. Question two is, I gave up. I tried this 12 times and I still can't do it. Is to have self patience, is just honor every time you practice. And I promise if you look in the right place, you're just gonna get that little bit better each time. And then that adds up over a period of time. So try and look for that and invite more of that into your playing. And question three is, maybe someday I can get a guitar. So if you're a child and I've been there myself and this all comes from my past experience, is that maybe mum or dad won't buy you a guitar, is maybe they're not feeling that commitment from you. So it's like maybe you flip from one thing to another, which I mean, it's healthy to try different activities as a kid and find something you passionate at. So I'd say it's, um, it's a commitment thing. Once your parents are gonna feel that commitment, then they'll probably get you a guitar. And that's what happened with me. Once I felt, you know, my parents felt that commitment was there and I was gonna see it through and it wasn't just gonna gather dust in the corner, then, um, yeah, then I, I got my first guitar. So my question to you would be, how could you show commitment to your parents? You're gonna see this through. Okay, people, I am honored you chose me to be your teacher today and you're here learning weekly with me on my weekly videos that are posted every Sunday. And go and smash jingle bells. The whole family are gonna love this one. And if nobody knows that you're learning to play guitar, this could be a huge surprise on Christmas Day that could just bring tears to your, your parents' eyes. You